Hey team, my name is Maxwell Hurst and I'm the Chief Operating Officer and Co-Founder here at Eats and Seats. And this is the Deanie Smith Center training video. If you have any questions after watching this video, be sure to reach out to your Regional Operations Director, your site lead, or shoot us an email to support at eatsandseats.com and we'll get back to you ASAP. Check-in will be at Gate B of the Dean Dome all season. If you have trouble finding Gate B, be sure to ask us in the group meet and we'll help you find it. Once you get to check-in, check in with your Eats to Seat site lead using the QR code on your Eats to Seat staff app. Once you've checked in, be sure to ask your stand lead what your stand assignment is and how to get to your stand. If you're in stand three or four, five or six, you're gonna go right from check-in because stand three is on your right and the stands go up in numerical order when you go to the right. If you're in stand two, one or eight, you're gonna go left from check-in because stand two is directly to the left of check-in, stand one is right behind it, and stand eight is right after stand one. After stand eight will be stand seven and six, but that's why we send you to the right if you're at stands two through six. Once you get to your stand, get direction from your stand lead on how best to prepare the stand for sales. Sales will start an hour and a half to two hours before a tip off. When it gets close to sales, your stand lead will give you an assignment for the shift, such as a cashier, a runner, or a food prepper. Cashiers will facilitate customer transactions. Food preppers will make sure we have enough popcorn, hot dogs, barbecue, and nachos to sell to customers throughout the shift. And runners will help give food from food preppers to cashiers to reduce motion waste and increase the overall tip potential over the course of the shift. If you're a cashier, make sure you're always upselling and that you're communicating customer orders to runners effectively. Shutdown will occur at 10 minutes left in the second half for every game. When we begin shutting down, cleanup is directed by your stand lead. Once the stand is fully clean and restocked, your stand lead will dismiss you to check out with your site lead at gate B. Once you're there, check out with your site lead using the QR code on your Eats to Seat staff app and you'll be good to go. In conclusion, we hope that this video has prepared you for your first shift here with us at the Smith Center. And if you still have any further questions after watching this video, be sure to reach out to your regional operations director, your site lead, or shoot us an email to support at eatsandseats.com and we'll get back to you ASAP. Thank you, God bless UNC, and God bless Eats and Seats.